don't want to just clean and paint and wash the evidence of evil here. This church is like a mother to us. It's heartbreaking to see it this way. We need the world to see what ISIS did to the Christians in the Middle East, especially in Iraq. Does that gunfire startle you at all? You don't no, we are used to it, sorry. We are used to it. We hear it all the time now. There were 24 of us here, so we all left on the 9th of the 6th of August 2014. Did you leave as ISIS was coming Yes, in? Yeah. actually we had a phone call at 11 o'clock at night and we were told that we had to leave. So we left before midnight. It was a nightmare. Uh, we left, we didn't know if we were coming back in a couple of days, so we just got, took some stuff for a couple of days really. We thought we'll be back. We didn't know we were leaving for not coming back for two years or to see the place this destroyed. These places were filled with people. Every day you walk by here, it was filled with people, shops, cafes. It's a deserted town now. Sadduqini. What sort of things are you worried about? If you she, go she thinks uh, there's explosions or something like that. Inside, right? Yeah, so she doesn't want us to enter. But we want. Yeah. When we think of Karakosh, of this town, we think of this church. Um, we had celebrated so many masses, ordinations, professions of uh, our Dominican sisters, different occasions here. So we expected our homes to be looted, to be destroyed, but uh, we, we kind of thought our churches would be standing, but of course they are not.